Let's get rolling. Oh, look at them. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make my signature cookie. It's called the Italian Fit Cookie, or as my grandma would say, Coochie Daddy. I think that's the cutest word ever. This recipe has been in my family for generations. And if I didn't make this cookie for Christmas, I think there would be a total revolution in my family. So let's get started. We're gonna take our baking powder and add it to the flour. And you wanna mix it well. Now we're gonna transfer our butter right into the KitchenAid. Now we're gonna add our sugar. Let's go ahead and mix that. Okay, now we're gonna add our eggs gradually. Let that mix really well, and then I'm gonna get ready to add the vanilla. Okay, now I'm gonna slow the speed down, and I'm gonna gradually add the flour. You want to mix it until it's well incorporated. Okay, it's done. So now what you want to do is you want to gather your dough into a nice ball and wrap it in some saran, and you want to refrigerate it for a couple of hours. It's going to make it a lot easier to roll. Now I'm going to make the filling. But first I just want to talk to you about the figs. I get some really nice Turkish figs. Those are the ones that you want to use and there is a hard stem that you want to make sure to remove and then I quarter my figs because they're very fibrous and it's just um, less laborious for your KitchenAid. So we're going to add the chopped figs with stems off, the dark raisins, your zest, your walnuts and your orange juice. And we're going to save the honey for later. Now we're going to put our ingredients into the food processor. I like to push the, the filling ingredients down so that nothing gets stuck on the top and you get a nice, even mix. So now I'm gonna check and see how it is, and it's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into a mixing bowl. I'm gonna add the honey. and give it a good mix. So this is our filling. Preheat the oven to 350. Okay, now we're gonna roll the dough. So what I do is I lightly flour my work surface, and I'm gonna put a little flour on my rolling pin. Let's get rolling. So we wanna roll this into a rectangle because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a line of filling on the dough, and then we're gonna cover the dough with the two sides. I'll cut a little bit off. Well, it looks pretty even to me. I basically sort of even out the sides. You do not want to overfill this cookie because the shape will get a little bit distorted in the oven. So that's about the right height and width of the filling that you want. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take this side and snugly press it up against your filling. That looks pretty good. So then you want to go ahead and cut your other side just so that you have enough so you want it to cover your filling and just kind of overlap a little bit. 
So I just take a serrated steak knife and I just always make sure to put it in some flour because the filling is a little bit sticky. I do a few cuts and this is about the size I like to make them because this dough is a lot of baking powder and it's really gonna grow in size. Then I just tap the tops because you wanna make sure that you get a good seal. Okay, let's transfer them to the cookie sheet. I usually put about 12 on a sheet. Then you'll get some even cooking and even browning. They're ready to go in the oven. These usually take about 20 minutes, but I usually start checking them at about 18 minutes. Now we're gonna make our icing. This is a special vanilla that I created. It's a cognac barrel aged vanilla. It's really lovely. So let's start. We're gonna sift some of our powdered sugar. Okay. Now we're gonna transfer our powdered sugar into our mixer. So I just put my mixer on low and I just add a little bit of water and I just pay attention to the consistency. Then I test it with the spoon. I think it looks great. I've still got a little bit of confectioner sugar so I'm just gonna manually mix that in. Time to check the cookies. Oh, look at them. It'll happen, I'm gonna check the bottoms. Perfectly brown. Okay, now we're ready to ice and sprinkle the cookies. So you just wanna dip the cookies in there. I put a little bit of icing on the bottom. I let the excess drip off. I brush the bottom of the cookie on the side of the bowl. And then I set them on my drying rack and all the excess will drip off right onto the parchment paper. And then you wanna make sure to put some sprinkles. And you wanna make sure that you let these dry really well before you put them in a seal tight container. I like to layer some parchment in between the layers. This is really a special cookie. The filling is so moist. The combination of the dark raisins with the Turkish figs and the orange zest and juice. It's just the perfect flavor combination. I hope you make these at home. I know I'm supposed to wait for the glaze to dry but I just can't. It's just so good. I think I'd make my grandmother proud. Thank you for watching and follow me on social media at Blame It on Biscotti and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more recipes and tips.